Hello everybody, despite it being 3 a.m. here, I want to get this video out before I go to sleep because it is daytime in the Western world, or at least the United States. I don't know what time it is in Australia. Um, I don't know if they would even be considered uh, geographically West, but I'm sure in terms of other things West. So this video is about how I am treated or how people react to me being American in Belarus. And as I've mentioned in a previous video, I've actually never had a negative interaction. I don't just mean like that I've never had a big negative interaction. I mean, I've never had any negative interaction. Maybe I've just gotten lucky. Maybe I don't go to bad enough areas. <laughs> I don't know, but I've never had a bad interaction. Maybe I'm just a likable person. Whatever it is, I literally have not had even the slightest bad interaction. Hopefully that stays true for the future. Um, I know some of the other foreign students, they don't like the people here. They think that they're mean and angry. That's not my experience. I don't know what the disparity is. I'm, they're actually not American, they're Israeli. I don't think that they, the people here hate Israelis or that they uh, dislike them. I think it's just that they don't speak any Russian at all. And they typically will be like speaking Hebrew or Arabic to them and like going on and on and on as if they're supposed to understand what they're saying and then the Russian, pe Belarusian people get frustrated and mad. It's like, they'll go to buy some pastries and they'll be speaking in Arabic or Israeli to the woman and she doesn't know it. She, so it's, and then they'll be like, it's like, dude, she doesn't understand a word you're saying. Don't say anything. It's not helpful. And like, don't get frustrated and speak more. Just. And of course, the foreign students love, even when they don't understand Russian, to say in Russian, how much does it cost? And then the person responds and they can't understand them. And then it becomes a big ordeal to give the right amount of money. And but yeah, me personally, I've never had a bad interaction. I'm smart enough that I pay with credit. Well, I mean, I understand Russian enough that I could pay with cash. But I like to be convenient, so I just bring a credit card. I don't want to carry stuff in my pockets. I don't want to have change, so I just use my credit card, credit card, credit card. I'm a big proponent of cash, but in terms of convenience, I use credit card. So usual interaction is one of like, awe, I mean not awe, but like when you find something rare for a lot of people, they've never met an American before. Like, I remember one time during an MMA lesson of mine, um, my coach told me not to talk with the guy because I was doing ab exercises, I think. So he just talked with the guy. The guy started asking me questions my coach was answering, but I understand Russian, so I started answering, and he tells me, like, just focus on your exercises. But I heard the guy saying, like, oh, sorry, was, I don't remember exactly what he said, so don't hold me to these words. But something like, Oh yeah, I just, I can't believe it. Like, I've never met an American before. I just want to find out about it. Like, blah, 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 blah. Like, he just was really interested. Other people just, like, exciting. Like, oh, that's an, oh, an American. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, in America, we get a lot more foreigners. Here, they get a lot less foreigners. There's still a lot in this capital city. Uh, low battery notification. But yeah, so people are always, I mean, they get a lot of foreigners from like the Middle East, from Asia, not so much from America. So yeah, general response is just excitement to meet the American, to hear about America, to hear why the American's here. Cause that's, that's probably the first thing they wonder is like, why are you here? Like, they don't know, like, why would an American come to Belarus? And I'll be like, well, I go to medical university here. Or, I mean, I've been to Belarus a lot before because my fiance lives here, but even if she didn't live here, I would like to be here, going to medical university here rather than anywhere else. 
for many reasons, and a new reason being the coronavirus stuff, I will refrain from calling it garbage, just not right now. Because yeah, it is garbage. But you see, originally I just called it stuff. Yeah, it, I, I like the here, I don't wear a mask, I don't have vaccine mandates, I don't have any coronavirus stuff. And guess what? I don't need it. I go about my life, I get on the metro, people packed really close to me, sometimes like even like you're not holding on to anything, but since there's so many people, like if it moves a lot, like you just bump against each other and you don't fall down because you're all crammed in there so tight. Yeah, I don't wear a mask anywhere. If someone tells me to put on a mask, I don't put on a mask. I even made a video about how at my university, people tell me to put on a mask, and I just say, president says no mask, I'm not wearing a mask. I listen to the president, I don't listen to you. Yeah, I went to a hospital recently, Ladies there tell me, put on a mask, put on a mask. I just ignore them. Classmates are like, well, you're supposed to put on a mask. I'm not putting on a mask. It's not the law. I'm not putting on a mask. That's a topic of a different video, but yeah. No bad experiences. Everyone's excited to meet the American, find out why he's here, uh, how America is, how I like Belarus. And then it's a little bit different if you go out at night to places where people drink alcohol because when people are drinking, well, primarily guys, primarily when guys are drinking alcohol and they hear a foreigner, me, speaking, um, it's like their favorite hobby to start saying every opinion they have about everything to me. And then like one guy will be telling me stuff and then some other guy hears him telling me stuff and he comes up to like argue with him like, no, no, it's actually this way. Ugh. Everyone's trying to convince me of everything. And like, if I have time, I, I don't know, I'll just listen to all of them. Like, that's an enjoyable thing to do is just hear people's opinions on stuff. Like I like to be worldly. I like to learn. When I'm in Belarus, I like to communicate with as many people as possible. Like, I'm from California. This is a very different place. I want to learn as much as I can. But I can't imagine going through the world and not trying to learn. It's crazy. Any other situations? In the gym, people are friendly. MMA class, people are friendly. Recently, uh, people have expressed uh, that maybe I should leave. Not many people, just some people. Um, one guy asked if I knew that the U.S. Uh, said something about like all the U.S. citizens should leave here. I just told him, yeah, my mom told me that like an hour ago. And he's like, well, you should listen to your mom. Because my mom, I mean, she didn't say I should leave. But yeah, she told me about this warning. Um, yeah, everything's good here. People are nice. They're just normal people. I remember the first and second times I visited Belarus. Like, you may find it a little funny, but like, I remember when I'd see guys wearing hoodies. Like, I, would, like, I know everybody wears hoodies, but. I'm from California, like sometimes when people are wearing hoodies, they might be a little bit delinquent. Especially like when I see people wearing hoodies, like bent over doing something, I'm thinking, hmm, what are they up to? And then it turns out they're just doing something completely innocent. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, I mean, I'm from a good part of California, but still, that's how it had impressed upon me. There's something else I was just thinking of, probably not the best to say on here. It's a positive thing, but sadly the world today is a very censored world where even if you say positive things, then people can go, see, you're this, you're that. So yeah, I'll talk about things on YouTube, but I do not want to be banned from YouTube because then it's, it's pointless to say stuff that's going to get you banned because then no one's going to even hear it.
Do I feel in danger in Belarus? No. Danger from who? Danger from criminals? No, there's not really many criminals. Danger from crazy people? No, there's not many crazy people. Danger from the government? No. Police have been nice so far. I mean, I've even seen the special police, like the SWAT team type police, uh, see people drinking in public, and they just say, hey, you know, you're not supposed to be drinking in public, blah, 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 blah. I've seen normal police do the same thing, it's just, I remember one specific day when, the, like, I haven't seen too many of them walking around in the last year or so, but, yeah, a couple of year, few years ago, in Gomel, there would be, like, the special police, they would just walk around areas, I don't know, maybe it was just, like, a small time period thing, I don't know. Yeah, never any problems with them. It's it's not like Mexico, we gotta watch out for the police. Um, yeah, everything's good, you know. Even when I've been a show-off, uh, wearing a sleeve with the, like, you know, the wife beater type uh, undershirt, wore one of those in a club, was doing handstands, and the uh, Everyone was really amazed by my muscles, so I was even flexing and stuff for them. And everyone was taking photos with me. And, cause I, I don't think I'm that huge or anything. Like, I'm not huge, but I've got big enough muscles that everyone wanted to take photos and videos with me. And uh, people back home would probably think, oh no, you're gonna get beat up. Like, guys are gonna get jealous. Like, yeah, it could happen. Like, to be honest, even here, it probably could happen but probably much more likely in the United States to happen. But no one tried to beat me up or anything. Who knows, maybe because I look too big and strong, I don't know. Probably not. I, I have to admit, I did lose an arm wrestling match. I won all of them because people started saying we should arm wrestle. But then one guy uh, who I actually bumped into him later at a restaurant a few days, like a week later, uh, but he told me he actually, he trains arm wrestling, so that's probably why, considering I've arm wrestled like 10 times in my life and I do not train this movement. Uh, but yeah, he was nice too. Like, I asked if he wants to go hang out and drink sometime. He wasn't interested, but yeah, like he was friendly. When I saw him again in this restaurant, we arm wrestled again, he beat me again. Uh, yeah, no negative experiences. Hopefully it stays that way. Now, Western Europe, not for being American, but just for being me, I don't know. I've had much more negative experiences in Western Europe with uh, certain other foreigners there, immigrants, um, preparing to rob or kill me because I know what it looks like when people are preparing to do you harm and I knew to not continue getting closer and to go the opposite direction so yes in California I've encountered danger as well I'm very good at avoiding it why should you go head to head with it if you can avoid it smart to avoid it yeah actually I've been had a bad encounter in Amsterdam, bad encounter in Paris, kind of bad encounter in Rome. I mean, not the worst, just I threw some, like, three pistachio, well, must have been four, because, like, two shells per nut. Uh, in a trash can, turned out it wasn't a public trash can, it was some guy's trash can. He wanted me to take them out of his trash can. I'm not taking four pistachio shells out of your trash can, dude. So he uh, started like he ain't got my arm, yelling at me, trying to pull me back, and and he's like, so I, <sighs> yeah, he left me alone. It's in, it's uh, great to travel the world. Uh, like, I guess I'll just say in this video, the Africans in Paris try to intimidate you into giving them money. The Africans in Rome 
they're just like, hey, dude, high five. I'm, I high five them. Yeah, it's why you need more life experience because you're in a very small little bubble if you just stay in your hometown or your home city or your home state.